Okay guys, hello hello, welcome back. Okay, again, reading Dante's notes. I forgot last day, so today is gonna be number three and four, right? Yeah. Anyways, first off with sinners, we need your record too. I had a couple new discoveries about the sinners. First, it looks like sinner is specifically used to refer to those whom formed a contract that I, that I had no choice to opt out of with me. And it appears that they're the only people I can bring back to life with my clock. Okay. Yeah. Record number three. The sinners might be the ones who can resonate with the golden bow we seek. When we approach one, it seems to reveal the phasms of the sinner's ego, making us experience their past or peer into their psyche. Hmm, nice to see. The nest, what a grab. That's a lot, okay, fine. Record number two, a four K Corp game. Okay. According to Sam Joe, an employee we met at Winbong's, the wing might also be developing food related technologies using the singularity. Let's see, O Corp, okay. Full name, Lobotomy Corporation. Its, it's nest was in District 12, a fallen wing, its spot currently vacant. It was apparently the epicenter of a city wide event called the White Nights and Dark Days, which everyone seems to know, except for me. Or would that be the amnesia? <laughs> The facilities we search through for the Golden Bows all once belonged to this new defunct Delcorp. Yes, 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 hey. Endcorp here. Record number two. Not sure what its main business is, but some sinners seem to know a couple of things about the wing. If only they'd speak to me at, at all about it. Ooh, Syndicate and City Technology. Syndicate's number one. Seems to be what they call all kinds of gangs and organizations in the city. The term covers such a wide range of things, you can call pretty much any group of people together under a name of syndicate. Hmm, I see. The back streets, okay, record number one. Areas of a district that are not included in the nest, outside of the wing's domain. The residents are mostly people who can't afford to live in the nest. Each area is stacked with, re with restaurants, local businesses, living quarters, schools, academic. Okay, sorry, I thought it was academics there, but no. Academies and a variety of facilities. As the name suggests, though, the roads tend to be twisted and intertwined, and there's a constant air of dampness wherever you go. One thing I've noticed is that the boundaries between the back streets and the nest were clearly drawn in every district I've visited, though I've only been to like three of them. So far, so far, so far. <laughs> the city technology game, okay, record number one. From turning rudimentary cogs to overlaying an alternate identity via a mirror, mirror. the city has every level of technology. Oh, hey. Oh, well, scuffed for a reason. <laughs> Identities, here we go. Record number one. An invention that overlays a person's identity with a different possibility from numerous other worlds. I heard you saying was one of its developers, but he always blabbers things I can't wrap my head around whenever I ask. Though I don't expect to get any useful down-to-earth information out of him. The identities themselves are found via the engine of Mephistopheles. Not sure how it works, but it looks like you can't just find and grab the identities you want. Crown error can sometimes stumble upon previously unseen versions of the sinners, too. Yeah, <laughs> do that, well. I believe that's all for today. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and yeah, peace. Bye-bye.